welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Agnes at mumcandoit.com. Today I'm here again with my husband, Josh, and today we are going to be doing something opposite to what we did in the previous video where my husband taught me some of his language. Today I'm teaching my language to him. So, cześć, witajcie. Cześć, dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Sasikal. Sasikal. Namaste. Marakam. Salam alaikum. Not many of you may know, but my husband speaks very good Polish actually, and uh, he may impress some of you with what he knows so far. Uh, wherever, whenever we go to Poland, people get impressed with um, how much he actually can communicate because he does know much more to what I know uh, in Punjabi. Mówisz bardzo po polsku, bardzo, bardzo dużo po polsku. That's what I So yeah. Uh, do you want to maybe show off with uh, what do you know so far? Yeah. Dzień uh, dobry. Uh, yeah. Dobry wieczór. What do you say? How do you say I don't understand Polish? Nicht understand in Polish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nie rozumiem. Okay. Nie, absolutely nie. Nie po polsku. Nie mówię po polsku. Yeah, nie mówię po polsku. Yeah. Uh, but you also kind of knew a lot about... Do you remember you know a lot of like mother-in-law? Teszczowa is yeah. mother-in-law. Teszczu is father-in-law. Ozzy is a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy is a name of a cat that my cousin has or had passed. He passed away not that long ago. Rest in peace, Ozzy. Josh remembers you. Pivo. Uh, Pivo, uh, yeah. Pivo yeah. is a very famous Polish drink. Prost. Beer. Is yeah. It no, 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 no. That's that's not that's not Polish. You're mixing the languages. What's Polish? Na zdrowie! Oh yeah, na zdrowie. Czyż was German, again, no he's mixing up the languages. He speaks so many. Na zdrowie, no yeah, it's when you say cheers, cheers, yes, cheers, yeah. cheers in English. In Punjabi it's cheers as well. Ooh, yeah. in Punjabi you've got a lot of Polish or English words in there. Yeah, so, yeah, na zdrowie, my favourite word. <laughs> uh, and uh, how do you say my back is hurting? Yeah, um, I've, after having my operation, I remember explaining to people at work or even in public, <clears throat> It's uh, krango soup is uh, back, which is quite weird, like weird word in English. Yeah. So it's uh, moje krango soup nie dobra, means uh, my back is not good. Yep, yeah. that's, that's very impressive. Yeah, actually, Lubia, it's a, I like. It's a very difficult yes. word. Yeah, Lubia, like. uh, You do know how to say uh, wife? Yeah, uh, Zona. Yeah, how do you Jona. say my wife? Moje Zona. Good. And how would you say moje Zona or my wife is beautiful? My Jona yellow papers. <laughs> My Jona pink, barzo pink, no, barzo pink. No. Right, but those that don't know yellow pages in Poland, if someone is crazy and they go to the mental house or mental hospital, they get given a żółte papiery, which translates directly into English as yellow pages. Do you know anything like when you go to the restaurant and you want to order anything? Yeah, um, <coughs> in a restaurant I can order, if I'm in the Polish restaurant, I can order food, so I'll say Przepraszam. No. Przepraszam. Przepraszam. Mm -hmm. uh, Przepraszam. Uh, again, piwo, yeah. Przepraszam. Uh, Duża piwo. Uh, proszę. Proszę. Um, and if they don't come back quickly back to you, then you should say to them, uh, Róża dupę! <laughs> szybko, szybko, kurwa! <laughs> and then he swore. <laughs> a lot of people te uh, teach other people the swear words first, and uh, that was I, one of them. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, he wouldn't. wouldn't he's, he's a very polite dude, so he wouldn't say that yeah. to people. If they don't bring my beer, I'll stick to water. And how is water in Polish? Um, aqua. Voda. Voda, sorry. Voda, yeah. Voda. What's aqua? Aqua is probably in Spanish. Spanish, yeah. Aqua. aqua. Do you know how it's a uh, pineapple in Polish? Ananas. Yes, because same it's the same as in Punjabi. In Punjabi, yeah. So that's another word I forgot to add when I was speaking Punjabi. Yeah. Let's move on to the food part. So, as you did say, what was your favorite food? Polish food? Pierogi, which mm -hmm. is. Dumplings? Yeah, dumplings, yeah, Polish dumplings. What, I like what, uh, what? mushroom pierogi. Yeah. I like. Um, 
There is different fillings in, in pierogi. We can find like dumplings, mushroom. 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 Uh, I mean, you can find the Russian ones, which is potatoes and cheese. Um, That's quite nice as well, yeah. Ruski pierogi. Ruski, yeah. Uh, the second most favorite are the one with the, the one that we eat for Christmas, which is uh, the one with cabbage and mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, also, what's the other national traditional kind of food that you're not too keen on? which has a stuffing of meat and is wrapped in cabbage. It's called? Konki. That's it, yeah, Konki. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I like Konki, but... Um, not too much, I think. It's not your I, favorite. I think that it's a cabbage, the smell yeah. of the cabbage that puts me off. But, but you like Bigos. Yeah, yeah. Bigos has sausage in there, <laughs> which, is, which is cabbage kind of mixed together and cooked for a long time in a like, tomato sauce and um, yeah. sausages. Uh, plus six in Michelin. Yeah, yeah, I like as well, yeah. He likes that, yeah. yeah. With the with the goulash yeah. on top, which is like a meat um, cooked together. In the previous video, I did uh, we did explain that I can cook a lot of Indian food. Now, my dear husband, how much of a Polish food can you cook? I can make goulash, plastic zimen chane, romki, pierogi. You can eat it, you don't make it, you're not tempted to make any. But I'm just being like her. <laughs> to be fair, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not cooking much I don't, I don't, food. I don't, I don't need to cook Polish food because my mother-in-law uh, sent us over. She <laughs> posts from Poland food yes. that comes to UK in a massive container and that lasts us weeks. She's a fantastic cook. It's not in a massive container, she, it's a big parcel. I have had the video yeah. um, which and I will link above. She, yeah, she, she is so good at cook. She, she can bloody cook me a cement <laughs> and it will taste good. She's really good. Yeah. Yes, my mum is perfect. She, she's, a, he, she's a chef by profession, so uh, yeah. A lot of Polish wives would cook, would cook good food. We are known to cook uh, very good food. And she, she's not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like Polish food. Okay, let's start. Um, she makes Polish food. Uh, Not very often though. Yeah. The most probably dishes that I would ever cook, which you do enjoy, is uh, probably the chicken, kind of breaded chicken, which is similar to chicken, uh, what do you call it? Chicken, chicken strips. Polish so, chicken nuggets kind of style with potatoes. So, we eat a lot of potatoes. I make also, you know, the cutlets. So we call them cutlety. What's cutlets? Cutlets is like a burger. Okay, so she yeah, makes uh, like she makes burger. Polish chicken nuggets and she makes Polish burgers. It's a pork steak kind of thing with it's, it's breaded. So what else do you? I'll put the pictures on the screen so you guys know makes, how it looks. Uh, but else? she makes all round. I think she makes Italian. Yeah. She makes uh, Indian. A lot of Indian. Indian. She yeah. makes uh, Oriental. So we we have every day we have different dishes. We always tend to have different cuisine. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, what else do you know in Polish? Uh, you did mention some alcohol. That you know, pivo. Uh, what else is the very famous alcohol that a lot of people drink in Polish? Belvedere. In Poland? Belvedere. What is it? Vodka. Vodka. Yeah, that's vodka. It. Yeah, Pol vodka. Pol actually, Polish Poland is known, uh, famous for its vodka. Um, yes. Uh, one of the best vodka comes from Poland. Poland. Which cities have you been to in Poland? Poland. I come from. Poland is a beautiful country. Um, Where do I come from? She come from a small town, a city called Szczecinek, which is. Uh, very, 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 very I'm going nice. to show you something, and this is a shout out to my cousin Hania, who is an amazing painter. I've asked her to paint something for me that is um, specific for my city, and she drawn this in a matter of an hour. And this is like a this side is a town center, the square, square, yeah. So, this, so is, square this is the main building in a square, and it's beautiful. She drew it by herself. <laughs> Where else have we been in Poland? Uh, been seaside. Baltic, Baltic Sea cities. So there are three cities, cities uh, by Trumiasto, the Baltic Sea. And uh, Sopot, Gdańsk and Gdynia. Sopot in the center, then you go Gdynia and Gdańsk on the side. Uh, yeah. Beautiful place for going for tourism and um, not too expensive. Poland is underrated, big. Uh, it's a beautiful country and it's much cleaner. Definitely. If you're looking for a cheap European uh, holiday, definitely go visit Poland because it's got a beautiful lot of history. Sceneries. Yeah, so you got if you go yeah. like I haven't been Krakow, but I've heard so you got um, the Auschwitz, um, also 
the capital of Warsaw is, is lovely place. And um, mountain, yeah. you gotta go to Zakopane. Loves. Which I've never been to. I've been to Zakopane on the, well, I've been to Polish mountain on the other side from the Czech yeah. side of Poland and it's beautiful. But Zakopane, it's uh, one of the most popular place for people to go touristically to visit mountain. Well, nothing. If any students from India want to study in Europe and want an easy access to Europe, I think you should look into studying in Poland. Uh, there are lots of students coming from India uh, studying in Warsaw and, and uh, it's, as well. yeah, and I think it's a good opportunity. So if like cost wise as well, if you're looking to study abroad, consider Poland. It's a, it's a really good option. So I'm going to now fire some sentences at my husband and ask him now to repeat after me and let's see how well he performs in that. You're also going to have to guess what it means. Okay, so I'm going to start off saying Jestem bardzo wysoki. Jestem bardzo wysoki. What do you think wysoki. that means? Wysoki? Uh -huh. Wysoki. What do you think that means? Jestem means what you? No, I am. Okay, I am. Bardzo, you know what means bardzo. Very. Yes, I am very. Pretty. No, you're not. I mean, no. you are. But <laughs> <laughs> are you saying that yourself? No. Yes, then, so you, you would tell you that you're very pretty? No, it means yes, then means mm. I am. It doesn't mean I am, it means you say oh, I okay, am. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, then, bardzo wysoki. What does wysoki mean? Drunk. What, what are you? No. Tall. Yes. <laughs> you're very, I'm, very I'm tall. tall. Poproszę piwo. Poproszę piwo. Piwo is beer. You know what that means. Maybe? Yeah, can I please have? Good. Mam trójkę dzieci. Mam trójkę dzieci. Dzieci? Dzieci. Dzieci. Mam trójkę dzieci. What would that mean? So, I would say that if I would then follow up with Anjali, Arjun and Jay. Okay. What does that mean? I, I don't know. I don't know what she's, she's Mam trójkę dzieci. Anjali, Arjun and Jay. Okay. I have three children. Three children, okay. Yeah. I have three children. Three is... Jeden, dwa, trzy. Trzy, yes, but you know, in Polish you wouldn't just say three, you would say trójkę, so you would, it's it's complicated, but you would say trójkę. So I would say in Polish, uh, how do you say, uh, me in Polish is? No, you would say I would have, I have. How do you say I in Poland? Mm, ja. Ja trzy malutki. That would mean I, I three little. Malutki, children, yeah. no? No, that's that's malutki. Malutki is children uh, is uh, little. Sorry, children is dzieci. Okay, I don't know. Dzieci. I thought dzieci, dziecko. Bardzo smaczne. Oh, you probably know that. You know what means bardzo smaczne. It means uh, very tasty. Yes. Yes. Say bardzo smaczne. Bardzo smaczne. Good. He's better than me. Yeah. Anything else do you want to know in Polish that I could teach you? Well, I know everything. I wish. Right, okay. Yeah. I can so, go to the bar. I can go to the bar. Order a vodka. Order beer. Order water. Uh, kind of order food, which is not important. Um, um, you know, I I think going to Poland now because it's everyone speaks English. Yeah, English. every everyone or at least younger generation they would know English anyway. Yeah. So you will you'll be fine if you know English and going to Poland. Don't you'll worry, okay. you will be able, you'll be able especially to if you go to the city. Yeah, so yeah, it's English, worse yeah. if you have to go to visit family. And there will be some people, I don't know, over 40, 50, other one of 10,000 that do speak English at that age. But all I'm saying is that back in the days, people never used to learn English. The one language that was always taught, especially to my parents, was Russian. And then I learned German myself in school. And I learned, I'm not saying I speak, I said I've learned German in school and English was also then taught but I never thought I'm going to come to England so I never chosen to learn English. Yeah, she has never learned English. <clears throat> I've never learned English. Yeah. Up until I came to England. All right, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, yeah, Josh did impress, I'm sure that he did impress. I hope you guys like my Polish. If you guys have any recommendations um, on, for the channel, uh, please, your advice will be greatly appreciated and uh, we'll see. You know, we'll and this video, by the way, was suggested to us by one of our followers and I will leave his comments below. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, if you guys happy to 
propose something for us to do, then we would be happy to take on board the ideas and just for your entertainment really. It's all for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you soon. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the little bell to notify you when the next video comes out. So thank you so much and we'll see you soon.